Here's a quick video of my uh, homebrew VFD clock. Um, pretty, uh, pretty crude looking, I grant you, but uh, just to see if things work. There's a little GPS module which is used for setting the time. Uh, standard Arduino Uno there. Uh, step up converters that takes 12 volt in over here. This is 12 volt supply coming in. It takes 12 volt in and steps it up to about 35 volts for the uh, for the tube uh, anodes. We've got 7805 here, which is running the heaters, and there's some some resistors on the boards um, there. So all of the boards are static driven tubes, and they've each got a, uh, a little a little Max uh, 6921 on them. Um, kind of a bits, bits and pieces of a couple of resistors and a diode to uh, um, lift the uh, tubes, uh, tube heaters up a little bit so that they uh, and those actually go negative when they're off so they don't ghost at all or anything like that. That's the thing. Got an LDR here which sets the tube brightness. So um, if I uh, start the processor and swizzle it round, okay, do that again so you can see it. That's uh, just a segment test on the tubes. It goes off. Comes up G, um, which is the GPS and the number of satellites it's got. That works okay. And then it just reads the time from the GPS. Okay, it's currently set to the right time. Um, the tube brightness is controlled by the LDR. So if I cover the thing, it should gradually get dimmer. I don't know if you can see it on the video. You can see it gradually getting dimmer, I guess. But uh, you can take your hand away and it comes back up again. Perhaps gradually. It's pulled at the moment at once per second, but uh, needs to be adjusted to a bit quicker. When it gets to the 47th second, it should go into like a bit of an information thing. So that's today's date, 31st of Jan, 2015. Temperature, uh, 6. Humidity, 84%. GPS is 5, and that's the current LDR value. That's the current brightness of the tubes. Um, there you go. And you obviously mess around with it to do whatever you want, but uh, I've had it running, running like that for a good few months now, and uh, it's been going very well, so that's that. Got a few extra bits from over here. Some of the oh, rummaging around in the background. So I've got these are the, the tubes come from a good friend of mine. Yeah, the, these are the tubes. Some that I haven't put into a clock yet, but that's what they look like. On their own. At the back of them, I don't know if that's too easy to see. So that's the tubes. Some of the, uh, the, the un, unpopulated boards as well here, I think. So here's what the uh, the PCBs look like. <coughs> so something like I knocked these up pretty pretty blindly. So they're in the configuration there around that way with the tubes on the front, as you can see there. Sort of just in that, that configuration there. Um, the driver chip, which is get it in focus. Come on, camera. Max six nine two one. And there's a few bits here, um, just sort of the I.O. to the chip, you would expect, so just typically, typical application notes. Um, data in, data out, clock, load and, and blank, and the blanks is what's using the uh, PWM control to adjust the brightness. And you've got uh, ground, anode voltage, 5 volts around the chip and the heater voltage as well in there. So that's what's, uh, what's running those. And uh, a, few, a few resistors and stuff. Want them to uh, set the uh, current through the, the heater and a diode, uh, those kind of things. So it's, it's, it's done linearly. Same one, same on the back. And the, uh, the tubes there in English are uh, IV11. There, those boards. Um, the uh, chips from Maxim. These ones are ones I soldered the service mount chips on. Two. Uh, pretty easy to do. A couple of them was in the process of making another clock, so got a few of those. Let's have a look. A hand solder, but they're not too, not too bad. Try and get them in focus. Not the best soldering in the world, but uh, not too bad. Uh, 
and the boards were cheap enough to uh, have made. So they're double sided, but uh, probably don't need to be. The soldering on here is not so great, but uh, not too bad. So yeah, I've got a few of those. You know, the chips are cheap enough, so uh, not a problem. And uh, as I say, I've got a few more tubes and that to uh, to finish off the clock project. So there we go. Anyway, it's only going to be a short video. It's already hit uh, five minutes. So uh, with that, I'll leave it there. Cheers for watching. I've been uh, George M1GEO.